Where we left off, I was at a cliffhanger as far as what else we can do here. So if I hold down the Option key, you can see I can just copy that and duplicate that really super easy. If I wanted to constrain the proportions, I could hold Option and then Shift as I drag, and you can see it drags it in a straight line or a straight diagonal. <laughs> right? So there's all sorts of things. Now let's say you can say, oh, that's kind of off. I wanted that to go all the way to the corner. Well, remember our selections. Just go ahead and select that. And we're going to drag that right to the edge. And there we go. I could also drag this out to be here. And there we have our checkerboard pattern really made easy because we can move that around. So let's take a little bit uh, another look here. Let's say we have this. I'm also going to say, okay, this is kind of some strained widths, but these are the widths and height that I that I really want. Um, but I want to I want that to be half. But I don't want to do this math. Well, the transform palette can do it for you. Just hit slash two, and you're dividing. Let's say you say, all right, well I like that, but I need it to be half an inch smaller, minus 0.5. Boom. Right. Good. Um, so uh, I've been saying boom a lot in these last four videos. I don't know why, but uh, go with it. Maybe you'll say it too as you're doing it. So those are just some simple things. It can also do multiplication. It can go um, sh uh, shift eight, which is the star times two. There it is, right? So you can do all these kind of things and you can see it's moving from the upper left-hand corner because that's what I've set it to do. Now, let's take this, I'm gonna put it all the way to the edge and I'll show you something really cool. So we're gonna make sure this goes all the way to the edge. Zero. Tab zero, tab eight and a half, because I know the size of my document, tab 11, right? So all the way to the edge, you know that is perfectly to the edge. Let's do this. I now want to take this and reduce the uh, left and right by half and the top and bottom by half. So I'm going to put this in the center to make this even. And I'm going to do minus five. Oh, oops, minus 0.5. Oh, man, minus 0.5. There we go and we're gonna do minus 0.5. So now you have this perfectly set in there, but wait, can there be any more? There can. I'm now gonna select that and I'm gonna copy this, right? But I wanna put it in the exact same place I just copied it from. So we're gonna to go to edit, paste in place. Now you didn't see anything that happened, but did you see that, right? There's two in the exact same place. So I'm just going to change the color just so you can see that's really happening. There we go. I'm now going to say, all right, let's minus this by 0.75. Let's do an oddball number here. And let's do minus 0.75. And there we have perfectly kind of placed in there without too much, um, without doing too much, right? So you can kind of scale things um, um, that, that's definitely one way to scale things. Um, the next way is you can use the scale tool, right? Which is just kind of like what we were doing. There it is, it scales. You can kind of just click and drag. I can also double click and I can say, I want to scale that 80%, um, but I want it to be a copy of it. So it scaled at 80%, made a copy of it. And that leaves us off by doing something Super cool in the next video. Just wait.